Hi there, this is Dot Product Engineering Example 2. And uh, essentially, I just wanted to walk through some kind of uh, what I'm going to call mechanical efficiencies um, for U joints. So, um, the basic layout of these is that uh, they allow a shaft to input a torque and output a torque at a different angle. And I just want to kind of explore what the effects are of that and well here we go so anyway uh, the basic layout of these is that you're going to have a TN a vector TN and um, you're just essentially going to dot product it with the vector the direction of T out and that will be your T out okay and all we're trying to do is find efficiency, so realize that efficiency is just going to equal the, the magnitude of T out over T in. So since we only need magnitudes, we don't really need to worry about direction, but it's worth uh, exploring anyway. Now, one thing that I want you to remember is that uh, my T in, I'm going to assume that the magnitude of my TN is going to be 1 and that's actually just supposed to simulate 100% okay so if I say that my TN my vector TN is just I and my T out your direction of T out is also just I then when we do the dot product when I say tn dot direction out that's just i cross i dot i uh, then you have plus uh, zero plus zero that would be it's all going to just equal one and my point is that that's a hundred percent and this is just the result for alpha equals zero because you'll find that your direction out was the same it was I as well I should as well like as well so let's actually change the the angle here because I mean it's remedial to think that something going the same direction why wouldn't it go be a hundred percent efficient I mean there's no reason to think that it wouldn't. So, um, let's redraw it. Do a quick redraw. Find T in. We have a little box here. And let's just say this time you have a T out, right? And let's say it's at um, 30 degrees, okay? Well, we know that it's the same equations, we just have to find what is our direction out, right? Well, our direction out is going to equal cosine whatever the angle is, I minus sine whatever the angle is, J. Why is it minus? Because it's going down. The, the Y component is going down, so I made it minus. There was no like oh, the rule is... No, 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 no. It, I just saw that it was going down, and this is going in a positive direction. So that's why X is positive. So anyway. Okay, so now we have our, our vector. Let's just do the dot product again, right? So, you have your T in dot T out. Or, wait, sorry. Direction out. Okay? your direction out um, is going to equal essentially when you do this problem you're going to have it be that will just be I which I shouldn't really, I should really should not be putting that, I should be putting 1 so let's just put 1 1 that's going to be from the uh, T in times red 3 over 2 that's the I components, these are the X components, right? The I's and then 
plus, well, it's essentially 0 times whatever, sine 30, doesn't matter, plus 0. Just know that it's 0. So then, essentially, the result is red 3 over 2, which is also 0.866, which, in terms of efficiency, if we toss into efficiency, or T out over T in, right? That's going to be 0.866 over 1, which is 86.6%. Awesome. So just by having it 30 degrees off, you actually lose, you know, for near 14%, 13 to 14% of that rotation into mechanical binding. So that's actually going into bending the material rather than twisting it. Let's go, let's let's do another one. Let's see how it changes. I don't know. I mean, do I really need to keep drawing it? I'll keep drawing it. I think people like the pictures anyway. T in, T out. Let's just say that alpha in this one is 45 degrees. Well, we're going to do the same approach. It's, I mean, it doesn't change if, you know, by, by any means it doesn't change. So cosine 45 I minus sine 45 j great so all you do is uh, you come up with those numbers I mean that's just going to be red 2 over 2 i minus red 2 over 2 j very good do the dot product you'll have 1 times red 2 over 2 uh, essentially zero minus zero or plus zero plus zero because we know that there's no other components that are in the same direction as the T in except for the X so it's really only what portion is uh, of the um, of the T out direction is is in the same direction as the initial rotation so I mean what what portion what what is this component the the one that's the same as the the initial twist and I mean that makes sense and I'm just gonna come up with this for you seventy percent and let's just finally do the one that you'll I mean you'll never see a lot of these angles usually it's like five degrees or something max but um if alpha equals say sixty degrees then we just run through it again. Out it's going to equal cosine 60 i minus sine 60 j. Well, you just multiply that out. Um, cosine will be one times cosine 60, so cosine 60 is just actually, that's just one half, plus uh, it'll be 0 times sine 60, and plus 0 times 0. So, essentially it's just 0.5 or 50%. So realize that if you're holding this U-joint at that angle, you would only get 50% um, of that twist to go into actually rotating that shaft. The rest would go into bending it or, or moving it or some kind of mechanical bind. So um, it's going to go into the material one way or the other. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you that um, this also works for rotations and it, it's actually one of the prime things that you would do, especially once you start getting into rotations. And there are actual situations where um, bending can actually, um, uh, in later topics, bending can actually you know, break your material if you go past a certain angle. So, just to keep in mind, and uh, anyway, if you want more examples on the whole dot product subject, then please leave a message. Otherwise, um, you know, subscribe if you, if you really appreciate these. Some of these do take quite a bit of time to come up with. But uh, anyway, you have a good one, and I'll see you later.